most famous physical therapist on the internet. Howdy there, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. Together, we are the most famous physical, physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Not Bob. speech language pathologist, apparently. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about how to sit pain-free watching TV when you have neck pain or a pinched nerve in the neck. Boy, I can attest to having a problem with this one. Yeah, I you did, did have it a... wrong. I had a sore neck for a week. Right, and we'll talk about what he was doing wrong. The first thing you want to do, if you have pain radiating down your arm, what I want you to do is actually take a pillow and support it. And this is actually true throughout the day. Sure. If you're, if you're having pain that's going down the arm, support that arm. And that alone, you'd be surprised how it knocks the pain down, yeah. calms it down, calms the inflammation down. So you follow this. Right. One. And, it may, you know... You might even have to put two pillows just to get sure. the right thickness, depending on the on the pillow. Uh, you know, it all depends on if you got an armrest, if you don't, where your uh, what the situation yep. is. Yep. Second thing, make sure this is, seems like a small thing, but it is not. Uh, make sure the screen is directly in front of you. Mm -hmm. My wife is a little bit famous on this one. She always, you know, puts the furniture where she thinks it should be. Yeah. And then you're like, the TV's over there like that. You know, I mean. Uh, and if your neck is in a bad position like that, turned yeah. for a long period of time. It, so then what do you do? Tell her to change it? I just, I oh, don't say anything. I, I just think turn. she probably does it just to get a new. Uh, she probably does. <laughs> so just make sure that screen's in front of you. That And it's the same, uh, that's true in a computer. Oh, you know great. I mean? Computer right. screen. Mm -hmm. So when you're sitting in a soft chair like a couch, Ooh. what's going to happen quite often uh, is you're going to sink into that rounded out position, yeah. that C position. And if my back is rounded out, so is my neck going to be forward. Right. The forward it's head just posture. all part of the natural uh, ergonomics, if yep, you will, or that's geometry. Right. So, geometry. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm thinking like, I'm, you know, there's... All right. Uh, I well, think it's a good day that. to have a good day. Um, what you want to do is take a throw pillow and put it behind you. Yeah. I, we've got them on our couches. We've got them on our chairs. Yep. I don't never sit down without these things. Yep. So even in a, a chair with actually fairly good, you know, cushion. Right. Soft, cushy chairs, typically you're going to need a throw pillow for sure. If you got a firm one, maybe might, not so you much. You might get away with, away with it. Yep. So, All right. Um, the other thing is, with uh, it's always the case here, whether you're working at a computer or watching TV, you got to take frequent breaks from sitting. You, mm -hmm. you know, go up and I know a lot of you don't watch commercials anymore. You don't even know what I'm talking about right when I talk about a commercial. <laughs> but it, it's it's a great time just to go a short walk around sure. the house and come back again. So, but there's usually a pause button that works. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Just you know, if you got to get up to go to the bathroom, you might as well walk downstairs and up the stairs. Yeah, whatever. if you're binge watching something, you know. Make sure you set a timer for every 20 right. minutes or Well, if you're like binge watching Bob and Brad, just, <laughs> <laughs> just let it go. <laughs> Let's keep it running. So, all right. Um, also, and I, I'm going to apologize, Brad, here. I don't have one here today. What? Um, oh, if you're voice. on the couch and you're watching, what I don't want, do you mind showing Brad just real quick? What I what did? You, what you did. Well, yeah. yeah. And I was going to watch a good movie. And you know better, too. I know, but I thought I didn't have a wedge, but I thought my pillows were okay. But evidently, you can't see yourself. Yeah. And I was like this, and evidently, my neck was too far forward. But I thought I had my body adjusted right. And it felt okay until the next day. Sure. Oh, the, but every day my head was like this. and I It was looked, bad. You it were, was. It was, was bad for, I'd say, what, three, four days? Well, that's where it was really bad, but, you <laughs> know. It, no, it, it was. It was about a week before I got back to normal. And it, as was with what you know, know what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, I was doing my exercises to change my posture, but, boy, it was. Uh, yeah, once it gets fired up. Yeah. So, if you use what is called a bed wedge, it's a triangle. We're going to show a picture of it. We're going to show somebody hopefully, hopefully using it. Bob took Gar's home for his wife. Yeah, so that's yeah. okay. It's for his wife. So she had surgery. We, that fits uh, into the okay. So, yeah. Everything is fine. She's fine. She, she is. She, yeah. she loves using it. So, um, anyway, use that instead of pillows like that. It, it puts you in good posture and it supports you. You'll notice your they're, they're firm, you know. Yeah. It's not like cushy pillows and armrests and things like that. Also, it, it, you want to keep that neck moving. So every hour, I'm going to have, you know, throw in some of these exercises. You do, of course, do the chin tucks. 
Brad's going to show from the mm -hmm. side view where you actually get in really good posture. It's a good reminder of where your neck is supposed to be. Yeah. You want those ears right over the shoulders. Yep. And then you can do some YWs. You do your W up to a Y. Oh, the, the a y. W so up to a Y. Squeeze the scapulars yep. back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And if you're older like us, you can think of the YMCA. So. There you go. <laughs> then also, finally, if you want to do some neck extensions, uh, Brad likes to take his hands and go back there. That makes it a lot more comfortable. Yeah. Keep it low. Yeah. And do some extensions and do some rotations. And you might want to do a chin tuck and then a rotation. If you do have neck pain, you might find that rotation one way is painful and the other way is not. So work the pain-free side, gently work the painful side. That, right. And if it's just not working to the painful side, keep working the other side right. until, it, until it calms down. Yeah. So, geez, Brad, we did this video fast. Well, Bob, it's been practice. We've got <laughs> 10 years behind us. So this video is a part of a series of videos on neck pain. Uh, go to bobbrad.com. Go to the program section. Look for the one on neck pain. You'll find a whole series of videos on neck pain. That's right. So just go down the list. Look at the titles. If the title fits you, if you pain down the arm, it'll mention something of that nature in the title. That would be the one you don't watch. You don't have to watch all of them. They're about 10 minutes long or so. This one's shorter. Yeah. Uh, and the beauty of it is, is once you've watched it and there's some exercises, click on the PDF printout. Print it out on your printer and you have a review, preview of the whole video and the exercises. There's a list of those so that you can you don't have to come back and look at our faces every time. And the best thing of all, this thing is completely free. We ask nothing of you, not even the email. Yep. This is our gift to you. Our gift to us would be you get better. That's right. Take care and be pain-free.